Waiting. We do a lot of waiting in our world. Um, waiting with anticipation, with waiting with expectancy, great expectations. One of my favorite authors is Charles Dickens, and one of my favorite books by him, one of my favorite novels by him, is Great Expectations. I don't think I've ever been more anxious for a new year than I am this year. With all that we've had going on this past year, um, politically, um, medically, with the pandemic, we have a lot that we've been waiting for with expectation, hoping that this new year will be a better year. And as we sit on the fourth Sunday of Advent now, uh, we have before us the the Magnificat by Mary, Mary's announcement by Gabriel as Gabriel comes to her with this incredible news that she is highly favored by God and will be bearing the Christ child. And she is overwhelmed with that news. And she responds by saying, um, let it be according to me, let it be done to me according to your word. And she yields to God's plan of salvation for the entire world by saying, yes, I'm the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be to me according, let it be done to me according to your word. What an awesome thing. What's amazing is that she is looking forward to the fulfillment of all God's promises, even though she doesn't necessarily completely comprehend or understand it, yet she sees it as, sees it as having already been fulfilled. She is, is incredibly excited about what it, God is going to be doing. And the Magnificat, if you look at the Magnificat, if you think, think about what she's saying, is very social justice-minded. And she sees God, through Jesus, leveling the field between the rich and the poor, the haves and the have-nots. And it's an amazing thing. Mary's Magnificat is a song about social justice. She is God's entry point for Messiah, Messiah coming into the world. And she doesn't dwell on the theological. She goes immediately to the difference that Jesus makes in our world. That's incredible. That's incredible for you and for me. She is, in a very real sense, uh, bearing God's son for the world. In the same way that you and I, as children of the promise, people of the kingdom of God, bear Jesus for the world. You and I, in a very real sense, just like Mary, bear Jesus for the world by how we live and act and behave in our world, because Jesus becomes real in us and with us and through us. That's not something that we should lose sight of, nor minimize by making it just theological. Um, Jesus is real, and he is the reason for the season but in a very real sense, think about it. You and I are the reason for the season. Through Jesus, God breaks the power of sin and death and evil. Through Jesus, God breaks the power of bad corruption, bad government, bad church. God takes on all that is evil and he gives us the victory in Jesus. And yet you and I are in the kind of in the in-between times because evil is still rampant in our world. Government is still evil. Um, church oftentimes plays a part in allowing that evil to continue. What's amazing is that hope that we have, that love that we experience through Jesus is being made real in us and with us and through us. As we celebrate this fourth Sunday of Advent, as we are so close to celebrating once again Christmas, the joy and the hope and the love and the peace of Christmas, you and I yield ourselves, just like Mary did, to that faith, what Paul, the Apostle Paul, calls the obedience of faith. And we say, God, 
May we be your servants, just like Mary was your servant, and may we help that kingdom reality of hope and love and peace and joy be real, not only in our lives, but unfolding for the sake of the world, in us and with us and through us. That's my prayer for you and for me. Don't forget that this Christmas Eve, we'll be celebrating an open house Christmas. You're invited to come celebrate communion. Pastor Rick and Pastor Reba and I will be there to offer communion to all who come. We'll be using the chalice with, with real wine, not this juice that comes in the prefabricated things. Um, we'll be using the chalice and pouring it for you to the individual cups. So come and celebrate that with us. Merry Christmas to you. See you on Christmas Eve. God's blessings. We love you. Bye.